we're going to do a fun little experiment today. We got a jug of RS44 with an ASHRAE designation of R-424A. What we're going to do with this tank is we're going to wrap this yellow jacket tank heater around it, plug it in, and see what kind of pressures we can get up to. Now this is a 115 volt, 200 watt heater. Um, it's got Velcro straps that are adjustable so you can wrap it around your tank. Uh, it's got the plug for the cord. We're going to take a uh, temperature reading of the surface of the tank. And of course we're going to check the pressure before and after. You guys up in the north know that it gets real cold. Your tanks are sitting in your trucks. And when you go to charge up a system, if your tank pressure is real low, it's very difficult to get that refrigerant to flow from the tank to your system. So this heater is exactly for that reason. Increase your tank pressure so you can get that refrigerant to flow from the tank to your system without any trouble. So let's get started here. All right, we're all set up. Our pressure here in the bottle is about 105 PSI at the moment. And there's our temperature of the tank at 69.3. We got that probe shoved in there, about in the middle there, that, that heater. So there's the heater all wrapped around the tank, nice and tight. So let's plug this in and see what kind of pressures and temperatures we can get up to. We're about 20 minutes in, and you can see that the pressure's increased a fair bit. We're about 185 PSI. About 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And I find that that temperature changes as we move the probe around a little bit. I mean, that's not an exact science because we don't have the probe fastened and insulated to the tank. But you get the gist of, of what we're trying to do here and try to accomplish. So you guys working up north, if you ever have problems getting your tank pressures up, you know now there's a product out there that will help you in this situation. So what I would recommend is while your unit is in a vacuum, while you're tidying up, plug your tank in wherever you can, the base of the building, somewhere where there's an electrical outlet obviously, let your tank pressure rise before you charge. That way you'll have an easier time. That's it for today, guys. You guys have a great day. Work safe. And happy HVACing.